Well, the more we fish, the more we kind of inadvertently figure something out that makes a difference. Well, most of the time, we need to get bass to react. In other words, they are not just in a natural feeding mood and just aggressive and chasing stuff all over the lake. Boy, I wish they were. Well, this here is probably one of my best soft plastic tricks to get those fish to commit. We know that reaction baits like jerk baits and burning square bills, you know, those things work really good. But what about those soft plastics? Well, one of the things that I have discovered is when using soft plastics and either when they're on the sink, like a dead sticking type of a method, or when they're just sitting there on the bottom, is to pop that lure. And before you think, well, yeah, I popped that lure, it's important to pop the lure on a slack line. In other words, have quite a bit of slack, have some bow out there, some slack line on the water, and then pop it. And what that does, it causes the lure to twitch a tiny bit. If you have uh, pop the lure on too much of a taut line, okay, or not enough slack line, that lure is going to move a whole bunch and often scare the fish, especially in a soft plastic situation where they're coming up to look at it and then boom, they bolt because something, you know, twitches right in their face. But if you have that subtle, subtle, subtle twitch, if you pop it on a slack line, it just really has that little kick. Think of like a bait fish or a shad, you know, dying through the water column. Uh, just the tiniest kick to, to try to fight to stay alive, to stay up where they want to be up in that water column. It works really, really well. And hey, if you want to fish a lure that is very simple and we don't want to overthink it, go ahead and check this video out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.